So this is very, very simple to do. And uh, after experimenting <coughs> with numerous types of electrodes, TENS electrodes, transcutaneous nervous, <coughs> transcutaneous uh, nerve stimulation, etc., we wound up with little electrodes which are pieces of stainless steel rod exactly one and a quarter inches long and three thirty seconds of an inch in diameter. We wrap these two stainless steel electrodes with two and a half turns of cotton. It has to be pure cotton. It can't be silk, it can't be nylon, it can't be polyester. But cotton, which is hygroscopic, H-Y-G-R-O-S-C-O-P-I-C. Um, you dip these in salt water, very dull artery, and on the ulnar, that's on the opposite side of the inside of the same wrist. And why can you feel the pulse there? Because the arteries, not veins, the arteries, avoid the bones in the wrist by coming close to the surface. And if the blood is going through these arteries close to the surface, it's a very, very simple thing to get electricity into them. And you don't have to use a hypodermic needle. You don't have to use surgery, which we'll show you in the patents later. You do this in what medic medicine calls in vivo. That means the apparatus is outside of the body, the blood stays in the body where it belongs. So let's put these electrodes, which were sewn to this piece of stretch uh, neoprene, and take a little box, which Ross Toulage Soda Instruments, SOTA in Canada makes. And this little box has a nine volt battery inside has an attenuator volume control on the outside. The 9 volts is multiplied in a voltage multiplier to 27 volts, which is what it takes to get the electricity into the blood, not the skin. And you see here two little lights flashing, a red and a green, which indicate that the battery is working. The voltage is reversing polarity, so it will not damage the blood by electronic uh, electrophoresis, electroplating. And we put this on our arm, very simple, with a piece of stretch fabric and Velcro, which you can make yourselves. <clears throat> and if I weren't all thumbs right now, we'll show you how easy this is to do and cause spontaneous remissions of any number of known diseases. You then position the two salt water wet electrodes over the radial and the ulnar arteries where you feel your pulse. And you plug it into the box Turn it on, adjust the amplitude, the intensity, to the point where it's comfortable, and then if you're shy, you might choose to pull your sleeve down, and nobody knows that you're wearing the most powerful medical tool invented in this century. And what this is doing is putting this mild current, 50 to 100 microamperes, into your circulating blood and therefore eliminating all, I hate this word because I used to be a physicist, all electro, uh, parasites, viruses, fungi, germs, pathogens. And it's doing this by putting this small electrical potential into the arteries, in this case on the arm. As you can clearly see, in these pictures from Gray's Anatomy. Now, what have we done? We've managed to electrify uh, approximately 40 to 60 cc of blood flowing in this arm. Now, you remember from high school 
that the average adult has about eight pints of blood in his 150 pound body, that these eight pints of blood circulate through the entire body once about every nine or ten seconds. In other words, every drop of blood in your body, the drop that's in my earlobe, etc., will flow past these electrodes, become electrified, and anything in these uh, blood volumes is totally eliminated.